Hello, Charlie. Can you Hello. tell us um, a two-part question here? Is it true that some beers are brewed to be served through a tight sparkler and some are brewed not to be? <laughs> and, and if so, what do you think of a certain company in Bury St Edmunds who has a font that you could just twist a, a knob to serve, it, to serve it northern style or southern style? <laughs> All I will say, as the Pope of Foam, uh, I personally believe that foam is important and the actual dispense is critical. Uh, and uh, clearly, uh, some beers um, uh, need extra help in terms of the, the setting than others. The actual stability of a foam is very much dependent on, on the size of the bubble as they're dispensed. And uh, small bubbles do give, actually, more stable foams, uniformly small bubbles. Um, I'm not going to get hung up on any one individual brewing company. Um, and, um, but what I say, would say is this. I can remember, I talked about Bass earlier on. I remember going with an outside quality control guy to a pub in Manchester. And uh, we went to the pub, and he very quietly called them over. He says, well, come over here and listen to me. I want to talk to you. This, this here is Dr. Charlie Bamforth. He's a world authority on all sorts of things. He's a very smart and intelligent man. He's got a PhD from Hull University. And he went on and on and on like this. And he said, and all you can say to you is, put your fucking sparklers on. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they would unscrew them, because it's easy to pour it without a sparkler on. So we made them tamper-proof. So they sawed them off. <laughs> And, and truly, it is, it is a very key, key thing if you want to actually uh, uh, produce, uh, produce a, a stable foam. But in terms of specifically designing some, some natural uh, magic thing other than carbonation, uh, then I can't imagine what it would be. <laughs>